And I know that there is this stereotype that somehow is believed by everyone that alpha male is the most wanted man or the most attractive man for women. But this is not true. Hello everyone, my name is Luminitsa. Today is the last day of the year and today we look back at what we did this year and we look forward to the next year preparing some goals and resolutions. And in my opinion, your girl, 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 goal is self growth and self development. And the very first step, therefore, is to actually understand where are you standing right now, who you are at the present moment. I have a general overview, uh, different personality types, and have a general idea what are your strengths and weaknesses. Because then, and only then, you can see what areas should be worked on. You can see what weaknesses should be or can be eliminated and which one can be improved and so on. So I decided to start a new series of videos about male personality types. I already have a series about female personality types. If you didn't watch it yet, you can check it out here. And in this video today, I will give you a general overview about all six male personality types beginning with alpha and ending with sigma. Let's get started. The first personality type is alpha male and everyone, everyone without any exception heard about this type, watched a video about it, read a book about it, somehow heard about seminars or courses how to become an alpha male because somehow any man wants to suddenly be an alpha male. Generally, alpha males can be spotted by the fact that they are somehow naturally very charismatic, charming, and extroverted. Everyone knows him, or at least recognizes him. And this is one of those types that are either admired or hated. But no matter in what team you are, everyone actually either openly or secretly admires them because they're truly successful and they're really confident. What is important to understand and remember, and this is what a lot of people confuse, is that there is a big difference between having an alpha male personality and being the alpha male in the relationship. I mean, of course you can be both at the same time, but you don't have to. You can be the alpha male in the relationship, although you're beta. The next personality type, beta male, is more down to earth and has this reputation of the nice guy. You can spot them because they're very responsible and loyal and they have excellent listed skills. So comparing it to alpha male where he, the alpha male would rather talk than listen because he wants to be in the spotlight, Beta male is more than okay to listen, not just hear, but really listen and be compassionate with you. Fact that has two sides, one advantage and one disadvantage. The disadvantage of this, the nice guy reputation, is that in the teenage time, when they're rather young, um, they are not really seen as boyfriend material. They are very often friends on, and girls often say that they're good, they're great, but let's be just friends. Because when we are younger women, the majority of us will look for someone more, I would not say dangerous, but someone more challenging for us. Because we are young, we want to develop and grow, maybe even unknowingly, but we want a partner that is more challenging for us. That's why being a beta male during a teenage time, early 20s, can be a disadvantage. At the same time, there is a big advantage when you are older because beta male are the choice number one when a woman or women want to settle down, commit to a relationship and build a family because beta male are the perfect husband materials. Now, if beta males listen more than talk because they are interested and they want to listen, gamma male don't talk so much because they are rather shy. They're also very sensitive, very sympathetic, which is great, 
but on the other side they kind of lack self-esteem which can be rather dangerous when you are in the society because on the one hand side at work your boss or your co-workers will definitely take advantage of it and um, will make you do more than you are supposed to do and you'll not even get credit for that because um, you want to help and you hope that if you help then they will respect you but this is not always the case also being a gamma male with a low self-esteem is also pretty tricky when we're talking about relationships because women can also spot you see that you have some um, rather big weaknesses and they can um, take advantage of you take advantage of your feelings and use you and then move on what is also very interesting about gamma male is that you dream big you have so many ambitions actually and so many dreams and you actually work hard for them but somehow by i don't know what reason actually you never finish it you dream big, you go for your goal, but then suddenly you decide to live it. Maybe because you lack patience, maybe because you got distracted by someone that wants to use you, but you just don't achieve it. And this is a vicious circle because if you don't achieve your goals and you realize it, then you get upset, then you lack of, um, your lack or your self-esteem goes even lower and then again you dream big and so on and so forth and so forth and so forth this is really a vicious circle so if you recognize yourself in these descriptions i highly highly recommend you to first of all learn to be more patient and understand that you can get success not only by dreaming big and working hard but also by giving it a little bit of time. And my second piece of advice is in this new year 2021, really recognize, sit down and be honest to yourself that your self-esteem is not as you would like it to be. And after that, the second step would be to work on it because this is the key and this is really the only key that will help you really be successful, really be happy and not let yourself manipulated by everyone. Omega males, same as Omega females, however, are the smartest or the most intelligent type. And it is very interesting because with Omega males, on one hand side, they will not leave any occasion or will not miss any occasion to not tell you how smart they are and how many achievements they have and how many diplomas and how many degrees. They will make sure that you know in details how smart they are and how successful they are in some academics or how many books they read. They will really scream about it. On the other hand side, Omega males are not really interested in the other standard boys things. So they will never talk about cars, they will never aspire to have an expensive house, they are not actually interested to have the most attractive women in the world. They put a lot of accent on their uh, mental strengths and uh, on their knowledge. That's why the best or su most suitable female for an Omega male is actually the Omega female because then you can um, recharge your mental energies and you can talk about smart things all the time and you can learn from each other constantly or on a constant basis. Speaking of love, generally Omega males are pretty dominant over there. And it's not that they are somehow intimidating, no, but they will not go 100% into this relationship. They will love the partner, but they really need, actually require a lot of personal space and personal time. Exactly that's why I said before that 
for you as an omega male, if you recognize yourself in this description, it would be perfect to find an omega female because then you both can concentrate on work, get together, live together, talk with each other, but then again, live to work and not be too touchy-feely with each other because neither of you like it. Delta personality type, both for males and females, is a little bit special, a little bit the troubled kid. And don't get me wrong, all personality types are work in progresses and we all are, are on a lifelong journey of self-development, self-improvement and um, learning things. But Delta personality type is a huge work in pro progress. Delta males are a little bit of a mess because they have actually the potential to be any other personality type. A Delta male, like a chameleon, I don't know, a delta male can become an alpha male, or a beta male, or a gamma male, or an omega male, or a sigma male. Delta male can become any kind of personality type. And he, he, if he really wants, he can. The problem is that there is something missing in their willpower. Not even in the self-esteem, more in the willpower to, first of all, understand who he wants to be because there's so many possibilities. He can be charismatic and loved by everyone or he can be the smart guy. There's so many possibilities that he's lost and he doesn't have enough willpower to recognize it and work for it. That's why if you feel like you are extremely lost, like you could be everything, you feel comfortable in every single position, you feel comfortable in every single group, but you still feel like a mess, my biggest piece of advice is to find a person that will really help you put yourself together. Usually this can happen in a relationship, so if you find a girl, let's say an alpha girl or even a beta girl, then they will actually help you find yourself, pull yourself together and achieve your goals the way you wanted it. But although I always say that happiness and success starts within you, if you recognize yourself in this description, then find this person that will help you in 2021. And last but not least, Sigma male. And this is what I was talking about at the very beginning of the video, that there is this confusion that alpha male are the most attractive for women. The thing is that it's not really true. This lone wolf atmosphere and aura around sigma male attracts a lot of female because this is a mystery, this is something new, something that they don't understand. That's why they are really willing to be with this guy. And Sigma males are very much aware of that. That's why as a girl to any girl that watches this video, my biggest piece of advice for you girls, watch out because Sigma males are the most manipulative personality types. It doesn't mean that they do this all the time, but they're the best. Edit. Also, comparing Sigma to Alpha, Sigma males don't need recognition. So Alpha males, they get the energy from social recognition, from being in the spotlight. They charge their batteries through that. On the other hand side, Sigma males don't. They don't need it. They charge their batteries through the fact that they are alone, that they are distant, that they don't need this recognition, they uh, rely on themselves and this is their biggest source of power. As Omega males, Sigma men need a lot of personal space and personal freedom. But with Sigmas, it goes a step further because they usually don't even stay in a relationship. They can date for a couple of times or a couple of months but that would put some limits on them which is very contrary to their personality or true nature that's why if you see a sigma male and you feel attracted to him don't expect to marry this guy don't expect to change them and this is by the way a very big problem of many girls sorry to say that but 
a lot of us see a guy, a Sigma guy especially, which is a little bit lonely, a little bit distant, and we kind of have the do or feel that it is our duty to change them and make them part of a big family, which is wrong. This is not good for you, this is not good for him, that's why Sigma males, never in a long-term relationship, never in a big corporation, never in one single place. That's that's the truth. And these were the six general descriptions of the male personality types. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Omega, Delta and Sigma. In the next videos I will talk about every single type separately, more in depth we will look at their strengths and weaknesses, advantages and disadvantages and yes, even alpha male has some things that um, he can even work a little bit on it. I hope that this video was interesting but mostly useful for you and if you recognize yourself don't be shy to let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, click on the bell button to get notified every single time when I post. I wish you a very happy new year, remember to stay focused and to have this biggest goal in life to always learn, always grow, always develop. Also remember that communication builds connections and miscommunication builds a mess. Click here and here to learn even more about communication, here to join my growing community. Thank you for watching, again, a happy new 2021 year and see you next time. Bye!